All right, well, it's been a little bit since I've updated, so what I want to do is uh, show you kind of where we're at. Um, so this uh, pine board, we had to cut out a little bit of a section um, right there because it was just rotted, and it goes the board actually goes right over the gray water tank as well. Um, kind of cut out the carpet here. I stuffed some foam down into the cracks to fill the gap. There is going to be a little bit of a, a lip, unfortunately, um, there. But I'm getting ready to lay down some tiles. We can't put plywood back there because there's, you can see there's the screw for the, uh, that goes down into the one beam. And then over here in the middle is another beam. So the, the one by six is actually what's in there right now. So coming, so we're going to put the tile down. In this area here um, you can see this is a little bit of a <laughs> mess up here the other day trying to cut this board and unfortunately the saw jumped now the tile was already destroyed from getting this the uh, shower back in but that's okay because I only have to replace one little section of it which is which is fine um, but just wanted to sh share the little bit of progress that we got going going on here today um, and, and and we are making progress, which is which is cool, very very cool to see. So in order to make sure that I'm because that section up there is going to be, need to be replaced, I don't want to do it just yet. Um, to make sure everything's going to line up, I'm going to line up with this seam back here, and then because of the little lip that goes over it, we are going to use some extra adhesive um, to do it and. Uh, I want to see if we take another tile, by the way, we're almost to the end of that box, you know, how far over am I going to be able to go with this? Now, since we are going to leave the carpet underneath, and you can see there's a little bit of an, over an overlap, um, so that means I'll have to be trimming tiles, but right now I'm just trying to get this, you know, these sections right in here, you know, laid down, and then we'll put a box of tile on top of it to keep it held down in, in spot in place so making some progress um, like I said I'll fix this here but I'm gonna fix this later because um, I'll have remnants that I can do and I just have to cut you know I'll just have to cut that and then cut a little bit over here just to just to fix that and sorry if you didn't see that my finger there so I'm gonna get these two tiles laid down I may move up into here get get one up in there as soon as I get this other one done and we'll put a few more down. But we are using some adhesive um, to help stick everything down. We are using weight to help as well, leaving them in place. Usually about 24 hours it seems to be, be helpful. Well, like all great plans, I'll tell you what happened. I oversprayed the, he at the adhesive to over here. So I had to cut it. Now, we still have this gap between the carpet and some stuff there. So what we can put in, we can put some nice molding across that once um, once everything's done, set tight if we really want to, you know, perfect it. And this area I might because it comes right out from the bathroom. It just looks a little bit better to cover the edge of the carpet. Um, everything else I'm not worried about perfection on. Um, if <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because this line that actually comes from the bathroom back towards the living room it isn't straight but it is what it is all right so ideally ideally you want your all your surfaces to be flat you want them to be perfect but you can see this is one of the reasons why I end up using weight to weigh these tiles tiles down until they are glued in place because they will start coming back up um, you know, the peel and stick tiles and stuff like that. And we have officially gone through one entire box of tile. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to, um, lay those boxes down on top of it. So we can, uh, let this area, um, stay down. If all else fails, we can use a little bit of a liquid nail to tack it down later too.